What volume of a 0.15 barium hydroxide solution is required to completely neutralize 45 ml of 0.29 molar nitric acid solution? First, we need to consider that nitric acid and barium hydroxide are ionic compounds. Okay, meaning, in solution, they dissociate into ions. Like in the case of nitric acid, it dissociates into hydrogen ion and nitrate ion and barium hydroxide into barium plus 2 and OH and another OH. Since there are two OH ions in barium hydroxide. And this is a neutralization reaction, meaning hydrogen reacts with hydroxide to give you H2O. One hydrogen and one hydroxide. One hydrogen and one hydroxide. But take note, in nitric acid, there is only one hydrogen. So there has to be two nitric acid for every barium hydroxide. So that one hydrogen ion will interact with a hydroxide ion and still another hydrogen ion interacting with the other hydroxide to form two moles of water. Okay, now uh, the given are 45 ml volume of nitric acid and 29.29 molar. We have to remember that if we multiply together volume in ml and molarity, this will give us millimole. Okay, so you have to remember that for every two nitric acid, you will need only one, one barium hydroxide. It's a two is to one uh, proportion. Okay, so here we are, 0.29 molar and 45 ml will give me millimoles of nitric acid. And this is multiplying them together. This is 13.05 millimoles. How many millimoles of barium hydroxide will be needed to react with this? Remember, if this is 13.05 millimole, you will need only half of this amount of barium hydroxide. So you will need only 6.525 millimoles of barium hydroxide. Because it will deliver twice the amount of hydroxide. Kasi dalawa yung kanayang hydroxide times 2 will give you uh, the equivalent of 13.05 millimoles that will react with the hydrogen ions. Okay, so you will need only half of the barium hydroxide, 6.525. Now, if I multiply, this is millimoles. You have to remember that molarity times volume is millimoles. So this is volume that is required uh, for ba barium hydroxide to completely neutralize the nitric acid. So this is our unknown. 
this is what we need 6.525 millimoles so if i compute for v okay 6.525 millimoles over 0.1 molar remember molar uh, can be expressed in terms of millimole per ml remember when it is a fraction in the denominator the ml goes up and the millimole will cancel out and the remaining unit will be in ml so it's 43.5 milliliters.